Alrighty, it's March 15th. It's a Thursday and it's time for Comets X. Uh, a little late today to the uh, show, if you want to put it that way. Um, I had a friend come by uh, just around, uh, I think, 10, 11. And we talked for about an hour. So otherwise, uh, and he was, but I, actually, let's go back to this, because this regards the news that I did last night. He brought up some interesting questions and asked me uh, how uh, uh, I'm able to find the sources I'm able to find. And the reason why he is interested is that he wants to be a journalist. Uh, this is sort of where his dream is, but can't seem... He gets stuck when it com comes to finding good sources. Uh, is it, it, and I think this is a problem for all journalists that that that, that in order to find good sources, uh, you you really there's, there's an aspect of journalism that uh, I don't know how well it's taught, and that's basically library science. Uh, behind any academic program or any uh, academic field like writing or whatever. Uh, anytime you have to do research, that's all back to library science. And if your library science really isn't up to snuff, isn't up to where it should be, then what's going to happen is that uh, whatever you produce is going to suffer as a result of it because you're really not going to be able to find the sources you need in order to do a proper job. And so th this is, a, you know, as a, as a physicist, I built everything on my library uh, doing the random walk. That library was my main thing. And so that everything else now comes out of my experience in the library uh, from physics. So I'm able to, to, to do good sources. And it, I'm able to find good sources. And it, it's not that it just sort of came to me overnight. Uh, I tested this out, the, 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 the news, the, the stuff I'm doing for the news. I tested this out uh, for several years, years before this. Uh, if you look on the INN channel, you'll see uh, how in 2009, August 2009, I attempted to start the uh, channel again, and it just didn't seem, you know, I, I, it didn't work out, so it's been basically two years from when I said I was going to start the news channel that I actually st ended up starting the news channel. Part of the problem that came up was that, yes, I was able to do the research, yes, I was able to do the sources, the, but the problem was this, um, learning how to speak in front of a camera. One of the bizarre things that occurs, uh, and this c seems to occur to a number of people, as soon as the ter camera turns on, you just kind of forget what to say. There's also an, an enunciation problem that you have to learn how to speak, not only clearly, but more clearly, so that people can actually hear what you say. And only by going back and listening to what you've said before that you can actually start correcting things. But it's not, it's not that simple. Uh, as I said, people are habitual. We work on habits. And these habits are hard to break. And so if you don't practice either breaking the habit, then you're not going to be able to break the habit. That's, that's, that's as simple as it is. So one you have to work at the library and this doesn't mean you have to go to a library to work at the library you can build your own uh, anyone who does reading up there if you're a book person uh, all you have to do and this is sort of where uh, the show f the uh, documentary series for uh, the Bass Institute channel uh, that show uh, which is going to feature Harry Potter for the first uh, episode uh, that whole show is based on the li uh, on on uh, you know, what sh um, <clears throat> the information and adventures that you can find inside the library. And the library simply isn't just a collection of books. If you understand, really understand what a library is, a library is a collection of any bits and pieces of information. It could be a book. It could be uh, music. It could be uh, video. It could be. Uh, 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 artifacts. So if you go to a museum that has a collection of 
uh, ancient artifacts, that's actually a library, it's because it's, it's a collection of things. Um, even the zoos, to a certain degree, are based on the library. They're, 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 they're a library of animals. I mean, rather than actually having printed words on them, you actually have the animals in front of you, and you can see and study the animals directly in front of you. I mean, that this is the whole purpose of the zoo. The whole purpose of the zoo was uh, to study animals. So, when you have this as your basis, you have the library as your basis, and you've successfully um, set up even a small library, you can do this on any laptop. Uh, the way to start a library is simply uh, either on your hard drive or on a thumb drive set out a section that you're going to save information on uh, on your browser uh, put a create a bookmark mark folder called iLibrary iLibrary will be any information that you consider uh, to be part of your library you bookmark it in there and you organize your bookmarks you have one one point one one section of, of the iLibrary which is an inbox, you dump all the stuff that you can't really categorize right now but find interesting, you dump it into there and then go back into it and, and categorize it later on. Stuff that you, you know how to categorize it or you, or you know how you want to categorize things, uh, you can do that immediately because you can create uh, subfolders within uh, the iLibrary uh, bookmark. You can create subfolders in there uh, to handle various different subjects and topics and this is exactly this is how you go about building your library and you start with things that, are, that, that you find interesting um, for example if you're a reader there are an enormous amount of uh, free ebooks out there you can go and get a collection of free ebooks now because ebooks are the way they are uh, and in many cases you can read them inside of a browser if you have the right plugins there's no reason why you couldn't download it to the thumb drive keep it on your thumb drive and then use your browser to link to that and pull off so you go you can browse through your library your bookshelf your virtual bookshelf uh, through your iLibrary so the books with an electronic form your ebooks when you have them on your thumb drive become your e-library your iLibrary encompasses both the e-library and the internet library that's the way it functions. And then from there, you can go on and do your writing. This is the first thing that, that, that once you've built your library, you start doing your writing. You actually, after you start reading, you have to start writing because writing is sort of how you begin to, th to develop your analytical thoughts and analytic, ana analytical thinking. Then from there, and this is the point where I'm at now, you can take your analytical writing, the papers that you write, and then produce them into documentaries. The problem with this is that if you're a reader and a writer, because a large chunk of the work you do is done inside your head, it's not always as easy to get the words you're thinking about out through your mouth in the exact same form that you're thinking, that you're thinking of them in. And this is where you have to sort of find an avenue, and YouTube provides a pr pr perfect place to do this, to create a, a place to practice uh, speaking in front of the camera. And that's like, this is this is what Comment X is. Comment X is, for me, the way I practice so that I can get better at doing documentaries and uh, other web shows. It gives me a way to sort of correct my speaking, see what I'm doing wrong, see what I'm saying wrong in terms of how I thought they were, should come out, and then learn how to correct things, sort of write the verbal essay, right on command, right on the fly, uh, as I'm doing it in front of the camera. And so this is your step into any of the academics. This is the step, uh, this is where you want to go uh, if you're intending to apply to my university down below. I'll leave a link to that. If you are a student in uh, elementary school or high school, 
and you're a little bored there and you want something more challenging, I have a program called UEP that allows you to come into the program from grade three on up. Uh, it extends the it, UEP is, stands for uh, Undergraduate Extension Program. It does exactly what it says, what its title is. It extends the undergraduate program down to grade three. So you can, instead of being in an advanced placement, if you want to do further than that, uh, you can come into the UEP program and get that much extra. And I almost forgot, the university is free and open, so there's no restrictions to come in. You just look, f uh, click on the links, and there will be instructions down below. There is still an enormous amount of fixing up that I'm doing, so uh, if everything isn't there, uh, then come back and, you know, it should be there within a week or so. I'm I, I, I sort of, I'm still fixing things up, so within a week, it should be functioning properly. Even if it, it, it should be functioning now, you should be able to start from now. Uh, and if you really have any questions beyond that, uh, you can either watch this series here for starting your university career, your university education, no matter what point you're starting at, or you can leave a comment below, or you can message me on YouTube or on Facebook. You can even message now. It's possible that the Facebook page now has messaging. You could sort of click the message button, leave me a message, and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I, can, I possibly can. That's usually between 24 and 48 hours. Uh, beyond that, uh, it was my the, I did the general surfing. I noticed that people are starting to come on later and later, uh, which is which is kind of cool for me. I, I'm now not checking anybody to, uh, until around three, four o'clock in the morning. I'll check now because I have to do a lot of the. I, once, once I upload this, I have to uh, bring it into the video editor. To do enhancements, I have to check. I have to correct the uh, the uh, lighting and contrast on, on, on the video here, and that's that will fix it up to a proper level. So while I'm in there, I check to see if I have any messages. I do one sort of click around on the, on the cl on my clicker, my uh, my YouTube channel selector. I because it's connected to uh, Facebook. I have my Facebook up and I'm checking my messages on Facebook so uh, it's three four o'clock now uh, I'll be basically on Facebook and YouTube until around six and then I migrate from there uh, off I'll probably going off either to the university channel or to the Bass, cha Bass Institute channel to do some fixing up there and then around eleven o'clock uh, I move off to start doing the news. So and that's then I'll be on the news channel from there. And if you want to follow me, you can follow me either on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, that was sort of I I I tweet out and I do what I do is I tweet out what I'm doing periodically as I go through the day. So you can sort of follow me around if you want to do that. Um, that's not an issue. Uh, it's purely up to you. You know. <laughs> You can do what you want. Um, so that's about it for today. I was thinking of talking about some other stuff, but uh, at the moment it is, it it, it, escape, it, is, it, it ex escapes me. So I'll leave that for now. I will see you later on in the day, uh, and I'll definitely see you tonight for the news.